some of the key elements to good barbecue. Mesquite wood, fire, smoke, and patience. Great barbecue. Oh, the food's always good, consistently good. It's the best barbecue in town, I think. I mean, it is a Houston institution and it's family owned. I love this place. Everyone does. Good stuff. We have lots of offerings that are unique to good company. You can't really box us in to one particular style of barbecue. It's an original style of barbecue that's uniquely our own and the city's own, Houston, Texas. My name is Levi Good. I'm the owner and president of Good Company Restaurants in Houston, Texas. So my family started our business back in 1977. My father was a commercial graphic artist prior to getting into the restaurant business. He was kind of known as a guy that would get graveyard shift jobs from ad agencies to create logos and do work for them in the graphic arts business. And I really got kind of tired of the grind of working all night and, and turning around a project for the next morning. He had two major hobbies he enjoyed doing. One was saltwater fishing. His other pastime was backyard barbecuing. And after one of those long nights, uh, he came in uh, for a late lunch. Normally, there's a husband and wife team working the restaurant. It was their family business. Her husband had passed away a few weeks prior, so she was kind of stuck running the restaurant. My father offered her the money we had in our life savings at the time, and he was owed a little bit more from ad agencies around town. And he said uh, he'd gather that money up and, and send it to her. She uh, took off the apron and handed him the keys, and she said, it's all yours. That was the inception of the start of Good Company Barbecue. It was very much on-the-job training. It was my father, my mother, uh, my great uncle Joe, oftentimes they would spend the night here with a loaded shotgun and alarm clock, waking up on the hour every hour just to not burn the brisket as they smoked uh, brisket overnight. We had a barbecue pit that was in the shape of a long neck shiner beer bottle. It was about 26 feet long and he and some of his buddies would load up on the weekend sometimes and would go compete in different county fairs, barbecue cook-offs, and really had a fun time honing that craft. It wasn't an overnight success. It took some time. He used to measure success with how many bags of trash he threw in the dumpster at the end of the evening. He kind of had a following for his barbecue before he got into the business, so that helped. Over the years, we continued to kind of hone the craft, you know, blending all our own seasonings for seasoning our meats, carefully selecting the mesquite wood that we use and what kind of meat we bring in for our barbecue pits, and started making our own sauce and baking our own breads. One thing led to another, uh, we're a scratch kitchen and, and have been for a long time. Make no mistakes, he was very much a Texas boy. He always wore boots and cowboy hat and had a beard and he loved Western heritage. So here at Good Company Barbecue, our, our decorations are very eclectic and all kind of unique objects that he's found through his roadside finds and shopping around the state. So here we're uh, smoking with mesquite wood exclusively. It's definitely one of the hallmarks of Good Company Barbecue. Grows like crazy in South Texas, and we think it makes mighty fine barbecue. Mesquite wood, the density in it, it burns hotter than any other Texas hardwood. It's about a 1400 degree heat factor. The coals really last for a long time. So it kind of creates that even temperature when you're smoking meats on the pit. So this is how we do it. We season our meats with our own blend of seasonings. Texas brisket is the king of barbecue. It takes a lot of patience and technique to uh, take a tough cut of meat, a working muscle, and turn it into something wonderful. That's something we enjoy doing the most because it does allow you to kind of show off that technique and really pick up the great flavors of a brisket that's been on a pit for a dozen or more hours. Barbecue here, getting ready for lunchtime. We generally go through 1,500 to 2,500 pounds of meat a day. Our pits are carousel in format. They rotate around and as that meat renders, it tends to base the meat underneath it and creates this humid, smoky environment in those pits that makes some nice, delectable, smoky meats. Brisket's gonna take us anywhere from 12 plus hours to smoke a brisket, uh, depending on its size. Our other meats are typically uh, a lot less time on the pit, but still can range anywhere from a two hour cook time to eight hour cook time, depending on what cut it may be. And we make all our own sausages, uh, which I think are unique. Pork ribs, St. Louis style. Here's the ribs, without a doubt. They fall off the bone. My favorite thing to get is a sliced brisket sandwich with the side of the sausage. The goal is to get the meat sweat. So if I don't get it, I'm not getting enough barbecue. It doesn't get better than that. This is my first time here and I've had a couple bites of my sausage sandwich and it's phenomenal. It's probably one of the best barbecue sandwiches I think I've ever had. 
Jalapeno Cheese Bread has been a, a long-standing accompaniment to our barbecue dinners here at Good Company. I don't know how you'd even make it, but they've been making it forever. My wife loves it, kids love it, my waistline loves it. Turkey breast is also a fan favorite. It gives people, if they're looking to trim that waistline a little bit, it's a good option for them. They don't have to just eat salad all day. I'm gonna dip some of that barbecue sauce in here. So we have one barbecue sauce here, and it's our original sauce. It was one my father came up with as he was honing his craft. It's got some spice in it from fresh cracked black pepper. We actually have some smoked brisket in that sauce as well. Texas honey is another predominant flavor there. So you get kind of a blend of slightly acidic, smoky, sweet barbecue sauce. So our good company, Brazos Bottom Pecan Pie, was one of my grandmother's recipes. You know, my grandmother, being a Mexican immigrant, knew nothing about making pecan pie, but she came up with her own recipe. That was one of the first things on our menu when we opened the company barbecue, and I've uh, been baking pies ever since. My father, in getting these letters, people asking to send pecan pie to him, he was trying to figure out how to get that pie shipped from the restaurant to wherever they were without getting broken. We had a, a fiddle player that used to play here Friday evenings. His name was Pappy Self, and Pappy would play for a bottle of Jack Daniels and $65. We went to this liquor store to get Pappy a bottle of Jack Daniels, and he saw one of these Napa, California wine boxes. So the light bulb went off, and he's like, I'm gonna design a box that'll keep that pie intact while we ship it. And we ship these pies all over the country. Our pie is the same original recipe as my grandmother's. She created a long time ago. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I kind of look at Texas barbecue like it has four different primary regions. Central Texas barbecue with the German and Czech influence, the southern part of our state where you get a lot of uh, influence of the Mexican culture. And then you get up to East Texas, you get a bit of a, of a blur between Texas and Louisiana. Uh, you go on the west side of the state, it's more of a cowboy style on the range type of approach. Here at Good Company, we represent a blend of those four styles. Our sausage we make fresh daily and smoke. It's kind of a more of a, of a Czech style sausage. We have jambalaya Texana on our menu. My family has a Mexican lineage. So when we opened our restaurant, we were kind of cooking with what we knew, rice and beans, and uh, we had chili con carne and tamales on the menu. It really kind of covers a lot of bases as far as Texas is concerned. It's our own. My father had such a creative drive to him with my family having some Mexican lineage. He decided to open a good company, Taqueria. The food that we had at Taqueria was pretty much a, a lot of what my grandmother would cook out of her kitchen when we'd go visit. An open mesquite fired grill that we could cook fajitas on and steaks and burgers. And then you see the same kind of approach from a heritage aspect with Good Company Seafood, which was our third concept. That was really rooted in my father and his family's upbringing, Texas Gulf Coast outside of Lake Jackson. They would spend a lot of time on the salt water catching fish and oystering. And he wanted to bring fresh Gulf Coast seafood to Houston. At the time, you could only find it in white tablecloths restaurants. So Good Company Seafood was born in 1986. <laughs> So we decided that we wanted to open up uh, the Armadillo Palace, a place that we could foster up and coming Texas uh, musicians uh, to play at. We opened Armadillo late 2004, early 2005, and we've had plenty of great Texas musicians grace our stage over the years. And we also are able to handle uh, quite a bit of events there and be a, a community watering hole and gathering spot with the Armadillo Palace. So we opened Good Bird Fried Chicken. It just felt like the right thing to do for the community and be able to offer something that had some comfort to it in these stressful times. He started when the city wasn't as big as it is now and he's branched out to seafood and hamburgers over here. So it's really grown and done a nice job. Ever since I was a youngster, I worked alongside my dad in our restaurants. Sadly, he passed away in 2016, but I'm proud to be in a position to carry on our family's legacy. Well, Texans are passionate about their barbecue. There's no question about it. It's definitely part of the recommended daily allowance. So uh, we're glad to be in the business and glad to serve the community. I think it's just really neat to be able to provide a little slice of Texas to the community and what we do in our restaurants and, and what we have to offer. Breaking bread never goes out of style. So uh, hopefully we're doing it for many more years to come. <laughs>